Motherfuckers ain't finna be mocking me while I'm on motherfucking stage. <laughs> bitch, y'all knew I was coming. Y'all already knew I was coming, bitch. Y'all already knew. <laughs> I cannot. I just, I just can't. Okay. Welcome to another episode of Baddies East Audition Part 2. Okay, this is Part 2. We're going to have to unpack this in several videos, bitch. So for now, I said, let me come up and heal and unpack this one right here. So we got Mariah's trailer park. We got Mariah Lynn's trailer park sister. Uh, Mimi from Hustle and Flow, a.k.a. Strawberry. Baby, let me tell you something. Mariah Lynn and her sister look just alike, don't they? They look just the fuck alike. Look at Mariah. Hold on. Here go Mariah. They look just alike. Mariah just got on a fake uh, blonde ponytail and her sister her just dark. But baby, they twins. They are fucking twins. But girl, Strawberry. <laughs> baby, Strawberry so trailer. Like, God damn. She's so trailer. And I think she think that she's coming across as more of a hood um, personality, but it's, it's really giving like trailer. But on a, on a high note, okay, on the high note, this bitch gonna bring it. She's going to bring it. So basically she was up there talking about herself, right? And she was talking too long. It was almost like she was doing a, you know, a, um, a trailer pageant speech, you know, I've just won the, you know, the queen of the trailer, <laughs> the queen of the trailer park. I hustle. I work hard. I work two, three, four doubles. If I got to, I do 13 to 20 hours a day. I sustain my life. It's just like, girl. So in the middle of all that, here come this beautiful black chick and just snatch the mic. <laughs> Just snatched the mic out her motherfucking hand, bitch. Now that we still don't know the names of the girls that auditioned, so I can't tell you their names. I only know the main people because of their affiliations, and some of them I recognize the faces. What's going on, humble <laughs> queen of the trailer park, bitch? Okay, she had to do her motherfucking speech and everything. Okay, so girl. This thick, pretty Beyonce looking bitch. Okay, I, will, I ain't gonna give a Beyonce, but one of Beyonce cousins, okay? She came and snatched the mic out of her hand so motherfucking quick. And this little girl, bitch, she turned around and was like, what? She was like, what? She was fucking down. She was down. Now that don't mean she didn't get punched the fuck, like the first punch was was a it was it was horrible but she did get a lick in as y'all see okay i screenshotted some moments where the, the little the little old mimi did fight back i know her head was hurting but mimi fought back bitch okay so we are going to like strawberry in the house and you guys when we before we end i am going to tell you guys what my conspiracy theory is and and who are my picks who I think that um, the cast members are going to be. And then I'm going to say it again when we do our next live bitch. And now, I still kind of got my fingers crossed that they maybe pay Razor a little bit more and she comes back. So that's one of my, um, I'm going to just give you that as a spoiler alert. Okay. I do feel, and we already know Roly and Scotty coming back, allegedly. At least that's what they said in St. Croix. So, you know. But, um... Like I said, strawberry is a little, you know, a little dingy and dusty around the edges. Um, she says she's from Jersey, but she's not really giving Jersey sure, even though, you know, they're a little uh, alkies and shit. But she's she's just not giving Jersey. She's not giving Italian. And I know I heard I think they they supposed to be Italian. I don't know. It, it was just giving like dusty white girl 
you know, from eight mile, <laughs> from eight mile, bitch. But she she was fighting, bitch. She was fighting. She fought back. Like y'all know, y'all already know over here. We respect a bitch that fight back. Win or lose, bitch, fight back. You grown, you grown, bitch. Now humble. I don't think she mixed. She not mixed. They just like to give you that mixed girl vibe because they like to, you know, they like to dress like the black girls. You know, they want our hairstyles. They like to wear the, you know, the front laces and stuff. You know, black women made all that shit cool. We was trying to make our shit silky too. And then the white girls and the other women started copying us. <laughs> like, damn, the, the bald headed black women be putting everybody on. I'm going to tell you, a bald headed black woman would invent the world, bitch. Okay, and I want to sit right there next to her and give her her flowers. Because, bitch, they created the edges. They created the everything that we do. Chinese people run and try to bottle it up. <laughs> like, the Chinese, those motherfuckers. Asians be watching Africans like they done lost all the way. I'm telling you, all the way to the real continents. They always trying to cater to the African culture. And then here in America, they do that now. They do it to the African Americans. Everything... Bitch, we get a toothbrush and brush our edges. They create an edge brush with the comb on the other side. Bitch, we break the tip off of the rat tail comb. They start selling combs with no little, with no little tooth right there with the little, with the one tooth broke off. They like, we got you. And it's sad because a now black woman said, Chinese people, can you, Asian people, because it ain't just Chinese, Asian people, can y'all help us? Instead of, you know, and it's like nobody ever links up with the black woman, gives her a deal. And then she don't have the money to capitalize off of her. She don't got the money for trademarks and, 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 you know, design trade, trademarking the actual design and shit. We ain't got money like that. Bitches just be bald headed, losing their edges sometimes. But I digress, bitch. I just had to let that out. I'm sick of Asian people <laughs> bottling black folks. Like everything about us, they go, they look at us, they take it in. And they go and make a blueprint. And the next thing you know, we can go buy edges. We, I mean, the, oh, the, the wig was too thick. You said it was too thick. I thought these motherfuckers didn't even know English. They know the wig was too thick in the front. Let's add a front lace. Okay, now the girls are putting makeup on their face. Let's make one that's the color of their skin. Let's make one that's see-through so it matches every skin. Like, black women really... Is the inventors that I mean, just oh my god, it you know, the more I think about it, shout out to Donnie in the building, hey Castacia, hey Darius, hey C Nation. <laughs> White girl found out about that hot comb and called it a hot brush, girl, baby. I'm trying to tell you, and it, it, it irritates me sometimes. Like, it really does, because I'm a black woman. Every time I walk out the door, I'm a black woman. I feel like that someone's looking at me as a character. Like, all I got to be is black. Then everything I do is is a character, and it's, and it's bottled up and characterized. It's like, bitch, I didn't even do nothing. But you're black. These motherfuckers think we're a cartoon character or something. Them motherfuckers in Japan. <laughs> Them motherfucking Japanese trying to turn us all into a doll and an avatar, bitch. We all gonna be cartoons before it's over. <laughs> Fucking around with TikTok. But anyway, girl, look. So, boom. Like I said, strawberry fights. Strawberry fights, and that's what we want. She will get out there and she will fight. And and now, I I don't remember seeing... I seen Mariah Lynn fight a white girl in Love and Hip Hop. But I'm not sure if that was staged or not. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to say I've seen Mariah fight because the shit lasted 2.3 seconds and her and the other white bitch just fell off the bed. Oh, oh my God. And they just fell off the bed. So girl, that bitch, that wasn't shit. But I do know that Mariah got a big mouth. She like black pain. Okay. She want that black magic stick. Okay. <laughs> so, so she finna get in the house with some of these black women and see what it do. This is not gonna be love and hip hop, Mariah. I'm here to tell y'all now. When Mar these bitches, you know, coming from love and hip hop, that shit is sugar down and watered down when it comes to baddies. And I'm gonna tell you, I've seen, like I told y'all, um, others, other um apps. Their shows are even worse. I would, like I told you, I wouldn't even go on that shit. I would have to make sure that I'm going on something to where. You know, 
y'all can send bitches to the hospital. Ain't nobody finna just die on set. <laughs> they be fighting them like dogs. It's like fighting pits. They just be fighting to the death. There's no way. I mean, I can't. It's too. It's too brutal for nothing. Like there got to be more. It got to be more than exposure that comes with some shit like that. Take that shit to the ring. That's why I like watching. Um, you know, the girls fight in the ring. But anyway, so like I said, so Mariah came out here. She grabbed the mic and she told everybody, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm already a baddie. I already got a place in the house, so I don't need this mic. So she passed the mic and she came out and talked to Janicia, where she told Janicia that she is an independent selling gold artist and she owns all her shit. So, you know, like when you independent, it's like, People might be like, oh, that bitch just sold 25000 or she just sold 80000 or 100000 but that's all your money. You don't owe no residuals, no returns, no 360s. You get every coin, every royalty, every time somebody use your song, every stream. You don't have to pay no record label. Every fucking thing you do is yours. You see what I'm saying? And you have a little bit of exposure behind you. I'm telling you, Mariah would be good really rocking that. But I could see her, because she's on this show, I can see her trying to promote herself to a larger label. But I do hope that, but you know, white bitches be doing business anyway. I don't really think I need to tell her much. She already said the bitch. Them, them white bitches gonna get their money. Look at Larsa Pippen. These bitches going to always get their coin. We be sitting over here with a big heart. Oh, we going to wait on Jesus. White girls done already got the check while we waiting on Jesus. So I'm sure she's going to keep her masters. But I think that this show is going to catapult her to a bigger record deal where a label actually signs her. Because I don't really think that she's independent just because she want to be. Because, you know, when we seen her on Love and Hip Hop New York, it was a struggle. She was trying to sign and fuck with anybody. Over there fucking with broke ass Richie Dollars. Just look at look at Olivia's career when she started dealing with Richie Dollars. It's in the drain. It's almost like she never existed. So it's like, you know, Mariah, you know, and you know, these girls still in the hood. They ain't, you know, I ain't saying nobody claiming to be rich. I'm just saying, don't claim to be rich, cause bitch, we know how y'all living, girl. And and Mona Scott ain't giving y'all no money. Zeus over there giving up all the money, executive producer credits, getting money on the streams, getting money on the dollar. Girl, and Mona Scott over there fucking everybody and want them to throw their whole life away. I digress. Shout out to Devin, okay? And Devin said, the girl who hit that girl from behind is weak as heck. Even if even if you should stay ready, why are you sneaking someone to the show you're on? about Exactly. But at the same time, that's what these hoes do. And then I think she was out of her weight class, too. Why such a big bitch have to hit such a little bitch? That's what lets you know big bitches be scared. They be scary as fuck. And they be scared. But at the same time, both of the girls did get a ticket, and they both did go through. Rocky said, Rocky said, uh-uh, let them both through. Let them both through, bitch. I got my life. <laughs> She said, let them both through. So they did make it through. Now, the thing is, now, usually when they get let through past uh, the main people, which is Natalie now, they get to move to into the house. They Then, then they begin to find their final eight, nine or whatever. So I don't know if this girl going to make it in the house, but she definitely, she pretty. You know, when I heard her little, you know, they all do their little spiel about who they are and what, you know, how bad they are. You know, to my, how much money they got, bitch, how popping they are and what they doing. So when she did her little thing, I was feeling it. I was feeling what she, her hustle in life. And, uh, but yeah, I still think she was out of her weight class. Uh, you know, real bitches don't sneak, real bitches don't jump. Now, real bitches sneak if you get your lick back. I don't care. If I'm getting my lick back, bitch, I will climb under the table and hide and wait on you. And, bitch, when you coming out to get your motherfucking breakfast, bitch, I will jump from under that table like Freddy Krueger and get get my motherfucking lick back, bitch. But but up front, I don't I ain't going to just sneak a bitch that don't know me, ain't said shit to me. <laughs> the girl the girl was just on the motherfucking mic, <laughs> and she got yoked the fuck up, okay? But then, guys, the handicapped baddies. We got the handicapped baddies out. Now, on Bad Boys, they did let the one guy, he, what's his name, Hot Wheels, they let him come on the show. They let him come on the show. So, why they can't let some of the handicapped baddies on the show? Now, this is one young lady, uh, 
She don't have her legs. She said, fuck them legs. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> Bitch, I died. <laughs> I said, damn. She roasted and gagged her own motherfucking legs. Girl, she jumped out that wheelchair and started twerking like a motherfucker. She ended up looking like the girls look they be twerking because they be bending their legs back. So that was equivalent to a chick with, 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 without the bottom part of her legs. Bitch, she got out that wheelchair. She started twerking. She threw her legs in the air. I said, well, damn. She twerked better than these bitches with legs. She said, fuck them legs. That's what she said, girl. She said, fuck them legs. I'm trying to find a little spot. What's going on? My name is Meg. Girl, she said, fuck them legs. Okay. I thought I could find a part where she jumped down. But it happened so quick and then it's ass in the air. So I have to be careful with the uh, monetization for that. But anyways, and when it was, a, it was another girl came out there and she was handicapped and she was, I, I really liked her. I really liked her. And she was like, uh, I'm tired of people estimating me. I'm tired of people being estimating me my whole life. Cause, uh, how, how, you know, she walked kind of like, uh, something wrong with her legs. And then when she was talking, bitch, she was walking backwards. <laughs> like, it was like, she was so crunk. She was walking backwards instead of forward. But she was like, I'm tired of people estimating me. She meant to say underestimating me. But she was so nervous and crunk. When they say, Tokyo Tony say, what you here for? She's, and then when, and then Tokyo tried to get her to talk louder. And she said, I'm here because I'm tired of people estimating me. Girl, that shit was so good. And then Tokyo gave her a ticket. I was like, yeah. She deserved that ticket. Now, I hope she make it in the house. That would be interesting because she real pretty. She real pretty. I just can't find a bitch. I'm, I'm going through here trying to find. I can't find a bitch. Okay. She was like literally a, a handicapped baddie. Her and this girl um, in the wheelchair. They they was baddies. They they really was. They was baddies. I give them they flowers. They they was baddies. They did that. They did some shit some of the other girls weren't even doing. And then later on, y'all. Oh, I do. I hope Stunner Girl come back to get her a little more fame before she do her own show. But I heard she was doing her own show. I don't know. Devin said she would be a liability. Lost season. The stage was shaking. So imagine her falling off. At least Hot Wheels didn't get hurt, though. He started every altercation. He sure did with his mess. Yeah. Yep. So, excuse me. Maybe they should let the other girl, the other handicapped girl, because at least she can walk. And and they both real, real pretty, y'all. They real, real pretty. And that that's on facts. That's for real. Tokyo was twerking. She told them, I'm tired of seeing y'all bitches twerk like that. So she made them hoes slow roll twerk. <laughs> she say, slow that shit down like old school. Bitch, I hollered. And it was funny as hell. Tokyo Tony had all the girls ass spreaded wide out like Shatan two step. <laughs> she told them bitches to move slow. Oh, there she go. This her right here, y'all. This her right here. This the one that, that's handicapped. And she really stood up for herself, y'all. She really stood up for herself. So maybe she'll make it next season. I don't know. But, um, yeah, she was lit. Maybe I'll show a little bit of her at the end because we definitely got more to um, unpack. Let's see. Let's see if she said. Y'all better know. Okay, guys. Okay, she said y'all better know. <laughs> I'm tired of y'all bitches keep estimating me. I'm going to show y'all. Okay. So that's when she was like, I'm tired of y'all bitches keep estimating me. <laughs> she, misses, she meant to say mi <laughs> underestimating me. But do y'all see she can actually walk? So, but her legs, she walk funny. So I think that'd be great because at least she ain't got to be in no wheelchair. She don't need no handler like Hot Wheels did. But anyway, I'm rooting for her. She did get a ticket. Tokyo Tony told her to come up there, get her motherfucking ticket, and she did. And it was lit, bitch. Y'all, it's so much to unpack in this reunion, and we are going to come back. I love y'all so much for joining me today. Thank y'all so much. And we are going to come back. So remember, no matter what you do, take Christ with you, and you will make it out. And I will see y'all later. I dream big. You might discover you can fly, bitch. Okay? Where? Right here, bitch. Where? No. Where, bitch? Where, bitch? Where bitch? Where bitch?